channel. So today I decided to create this look for you guys. This look, in case you haven't already guessed it, was inspired by the Marine Corps. I am currently doing a mini military inspired makeup series on my channel in honor of Memorial Day. I will link the other videos in the series down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just in case you were wondering. So to all of my beloved friends and family in the Marine Corps, this one's for you guys. And very quickly, before I forget, if you guys know anyone who was or is in the military, please don't forget to give them a big thank you for their service. This look is most definitely not going to be up before Memorial Day because it is currently the day after Memorial Day and I'm here filming this. Unfortunately, time was not on my side this time, but better late than never, right? I really wanted to save the best for last. I know, I know that's showing partiality, but if you guys watched any of my previous videos or my 50 facts about me video, which I will link down below, then you know that my husband was in the Marine Corps. So the Marine Corps holds a special place in my heart. This necklace is actually a gift from my husband and it's from the base and it has the emblem, the globe and eagle and anchor. So this is actually one of my most favorite and treasured necklaces of all time. I just, I don't know, I love it. This look was very challenging. This eyeliner, oh my gosh. I had to do one eye off screen to make sure that I could do it. <laughs> I just really wanted something unique for the Marines. In the inner corner, I tried to make it look like the tip of the anchor. I don't know how well that's coming off on camera, but that was my goal. I have the little Marine Corps flag up here, which is actually from my husband's office. I, I borrowed it for a little bit. And I have this little Marine guy right here, which I actually bought for my husband, I'm not sure if it was for the Marine Corps birthday or I can't remember now. Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I already started with one eye just to see what exactly I wanted to do with this look. So first, I'm starting off with this NYX Vivid Brights cream color in Cyber Pop as the base. And I'm applying it in sort of a winged shape as you can see here. And I'm also bringing this down to the lower lash line as well. And then right over where we place the base, I'm going to apply this shadow called Saffron from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Next, taking this NYX Vivid Brights yellow liner in Vivid Halo, I'm going to very carefully trace out my eyeliner design. And I am using a separate eyeliner brush for more control. I had to do most of this off camera because I need to be really up close to a mirror. So here I'm trying to show you the design I created. The inner corner is pointed like an arrow and it sweeps up into a wing. And there is another line above it mirroring the wing. And I also applied this liner close to the lower lash line. Now I'm highlighting my brow bone with this Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. And then I'm just filling in my brows with this Tanya Crooks Brow Gal Brow Powder. Next, I'm going to trace over the yellow eyeliner with this NYX Crystal Gold Liner. To add more definition to my eyes, I decided to add some black liner to my waterline and tightline. Then I'm just curling my lashes and applying this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. For primer, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. And I'm just going to do a little bit of color correcting with my Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. For foundation, I'm going to mix together this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige with this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. Then I'm going to set down my face with this Physician's Formula Bronzer in Light Bronzer. To contour my face, I'm going to use this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I'm using this beautiful summer blush from Milani. It's their baked blush called Rose de Oro. Next, to highlight my face, I'm using this highlight by Ofra Cosmetics called You Do You. 
Here, I'm just quickly setting down my face with this Project Beauty setting spray. And then I'm popping on some e.l.f. lashes for more drama. For the lips, I decided to go with this Tarte Lip Paint in XOXO. And then I'm taking that Rodeo Drive highlighter from Ofra and tapping some right on the center of the lips. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!